We begin here. Reserve Bank Governor Lesetja Kanyapo has told Parliament that there was no breach of exchange control regulations on the Palapala saga. The bank has since cleared President Cyril Ramaphosa on its investigation on the foreign currency stolen at the President's game farm three years ago. Kanyapo says from the information available before them, the sale was subject to conditions and those conditions were not met and it was not perfected. It appears from the facts available to FinSAF as it related to exchange control and which have not been contradicted by any other evidence which is available to FinSAF that the obligation under exchange control regulation 6.1 was not triggered on the part of Ntabanyuni estates upon receipt of the foreign currency from Mr. Asiri, a non-resident of the Republic. In the circumstances, there would not be a breach of exchange control regulation 6.1 by Intervenuni Estates. All right, now let's get the latest. SBC News reporter Lulama Magia joins us now. Lulama, thank you so much for your time. Just unpack a little bit around what the governor said, because he's essentially saying he does not want any criminal liability in as far as releasing this, you know, this report is concerned. And he really stuck around the exchange control regulations. Good afternoon, Unati, and the viewers at home. Well, Unati, let me start by saying that uh, the investigation by the Reserve Bank was initiated by Parliament, the Standing Committee on Finance, uh, on Finance when the Reserve Bank appeared uh, here in Parliament last year, as uh, soon after the, the Palapala Farm saga emerged. The committee wanted the Reserve Bank to investigate uh, the possibility of breaching of a of violation of exchange uh, control regulations so the reserve bank as uh, the reserve bank governor is saying that they conducted that investigation looking specifically if there was any violation of um, exchange control regulations and on that the bank is saying that um, none of that happened because the sale was not perfected, saying that um, they narrowed their investigation into that. They didn't look into other matters, for instance, if the sale was a proceed of crime and how the money entered the country, which port was used when the foreign currency entered the country because some of the opposition members Unati, were asking the Reserve Bank those questions. But uh, Lesicha Khanyaho could not answer them, saying that they did not investigate that. Coming to the issue, Unati, of uh, making the report public, releasing it to the public, Khanyaho is saying that the the, the act that regulates the Reserve Bank does not allow them to publish or to disclose that report to the public, saying that over the past 10 years, they have conducted investigations which are related to a possible violation of exchange control regulations. And uh, those investigations that they have done it's more than 6,000 investigations that they have done, but none of those reports were released to the public because the Reserve Bank Act does not allow that, saying that it would be a criminal offense for him to release such investigation. It can only be released uh, upon a, a court order. But Unati, I must say that um, MPs were still not satisfied with uh, the Reserve Bank's investigation on this matter, calling it a cover-up, uh, saying that the Reserve Bank abdicated its responsibilities and narrowed the investigation so that um, it can clear uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa from wrongdoing. Well, well, Lulama, let's leave it there for now. Thank you so much for that update, of course, uh, that was earlier on in Parliament. Lulama, Mike, yeah, they're coming to us live there from, um, from Parliament.